What I always say is, you know, you can build your own happiness, but your own happiness should not be built on the misery of other people. You know, your own happiness should be organic about being positive, not because you're doing something bad or someone else is suffering. I think that that is a mindset that would be very helpful to us. Absolutely. And you know what? I so appreciate you. So appreciate your mind and your wisdom and the way in which you see things, because it's very refreshing to see um, a doctor of your caliber be able to see what is really happening. Because I think that's the key element here is the more happier people are in the world, the more uh, people feel good, the more they do good. And the more they do good, they share that inspiration with others. And then it starts becoming this rippling effect. And mm. before you know it, we course correct a lot of the negativity on planet Earth and start finding ways for us to cope, to thrive, and to continue as a global family. I want you to look into the camera and I want you to speak to America and tell America how we can come together and heal and not always agree, but heal and still move forward as one big kind of organism, this country that's going towards the same mission, which is, I hope, happiness, happiness and longevity so our country is around and powerful for a long time for the generations behind us. American people, let me share this with you. You are not here to fight your brothers and sisters. You are here to correct the imbalances that have caused discord, separation, and divisiveness amongst your brothers and sisters. And that doesn't happen by being right and getting angry at people and projecting it onto them. If you are getting angry and upset right now because you're cleaning the sediment that's been pushed under the rug for years and years and years in America, this is the cleanup time. This is the time for us to clean up that which is not held in the field of love. So for us to get into a place that we can truly understand how to truly build America great is in order for us to recognize that everyone has a right to feel and think the way they do, but not make someone wrong or punish them or hurt them or say they're not good people because they choose to believe what they believe. We have no reason to be looking in someone else's yard. We need to tend to our own fields, take care of our own home, sit on our own throne, and be able to honor who we are so that we have something to give back to this planet. By looking in someone else's yard, you're just paying more attention to them and less attention to you. And this is a time for us to really give back to our families, our true values, understanding how we can be more powerful as American citizens and living a life of acceptance, love, and understanding without creating chaos and pain, which is the very thing that separates us from seeing the truth that's possible. And that's for us to be united, United States of America. Remember what that means. I love that. I love that. That is very well said. Before I let you go, um, you talk about acceptance and love. You are engaged to uh, the Princess of Norway, correct? I'm not engaged yet. I haven't proposed oh. because the time I wanted to propose... It was, uh, we had some tragedies in the family and then COVID, but that's coming. But yes, we will be getting married. Um, and she is the princess. And yes, I'm a part of the royal family and they're a beautiful family and I love them dearly. Okay, so I was my, my point was though that, talk about love and acceptance. It's not been, you know, the easiest of situation for you to be romantically involved with a princess. You haven't, you know, a lot of Norwegians are not happy uh, that you are, you know, with their royalty. How do you handle that? And, you know, what's the, what's the problem? You know, my father always raised me to be a person when he used to talk to me about Dr. Martin Luther King, where people brought racial discord in front of him. And yes, they don't like the fact that I'm the color of my skin and that I'm with the princess and like the whole Meghan Markle and Harry, which is her cousin situation. And the truth of the matter is, it's about love and it's about us coming together. And for her, educating her, she had no idea about racism and now she's learning about it. And I'm educating her and showing her what white privilege looks like and what these things look like. And it's educating her. And she's speaking out about it. She's the first of all of the monarchies that are speaking out about the racial discord and energies that are taking place that she never knew about because she was born into a system that was already put in place for her. So for us to come together and bring our worlds together is helping people. So if people have a problem with it, people are always going to have something to say. People are always going to have a problem with it. But love always wins. Absolutely. Well, Shaman Durek, that is a great way to end it. I appreciate your wisdoms and your passion. Thank you. Take care.